Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's 116, 73 degrees outside. What a beautiful, beautiful day. This is the type of the season I like because rhubarb is in season right now. I went out and picked 15 um, cups of rhubarb, so I thought we had rhubarb cake uh, the weekend, and, or no, rhubarb pie this weekend, and I'm going to make a rhubarb cake today. One thing about the rhubarb, when you um, eat your rhubarb, do not cut it with a knife. Take it down as, as low as you can to the stalk. Push it down and it'll break off. That way you're not breaking anything and the rhubarb will continue to grow. Another thing is uh, do not soak your rhubarb in water. Take a damp cloth and just go up and down the rhubarb. Get all dirt, dust, or whatever off it. Once you soak it, it's going to take all that water in, and you're going to have watery whatever you're making. So that's just a little tip here. So, Well, anyway, I'm going to make a rhubarb cake today, another one of my favorites with rhubarb. So I'm starting out with one and a half to two cups of flour. What, what, what was that? rhubarb. I am coming out with uh, two cups of flour. So I like to put my rhubarb in last. I don't like to put my rhubarb in the first thing. Um, one and a half cups of brown sugar. I've got this all measured out. So put that in my mixer here. And then I have a half a cup of shortening. Let's put this in here. So, there we go. I just, rhubarb, I'll be making cookies, I'll be making bread, anything to do with rhubarb. I just, as long as it's in season, I do freeze a lot of rhubarb, but when it's in season, I like to use a lot of it too. So, uh, one egg. Let me do this here to make sure everything's okay, and I'm going to need shells in, the, in there. So, put one egg. Oh, let's see what else. Dash of salt. All right. Um, and it calls for one cup of sour milk. If you do not have sour milk, um, what you do is you take one tablespoon of vinegar and put it in your measuring cup. And then fill the rest of the measuring cup to one cup. Stir it up and you have sour milk. Okay, so it calls for um, one cup of sour milk. So we'll put that in there. Um, a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Um, a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to mix this up and then I will add my rhubarb. Um, I cut my rhubarb quite uh, small. You can do this as uh, thick as you like it. And if you Mine's cut uh, about like these little pieces here. Lift this up a little bit. And then when this is worked up, I've started the oven at 375. And I'm going to um, bake this in a 9 by 13 pan for uh, 30 to 35 minutes. Now I'm going to put it on slow and I'm going to put my, it calls for one and a half to two cups of rhubarb. So mine's about one and three quarter cup of rhubarb. Okay. Mix that all up. I have a nine by thirteen uh, pan here that I've uh, sprayed.
and it, this calls for a topping. Now the topping calls for a quarter cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Well, I would find for my toast this uh, cinnamon sugar. So what I do is when it was all gone, I put cinnamon sugar back and shook it up. So it's the same thing as what you're going to be making. So, um, I don't know if I've told you that uh, for Christmas my kids got me a um, outdoor pizza oven, a wood-burning pizza oven. So Joe's out there making the, um, the cement form for it, or foundation for it, so we can get that going. So, uh... I'll be trying to do uh, um, pizza, outside pizza on the grill. Uh, it says I can do bread in it. So, so now this is mixed up. So I'll put it in my pan. So I'm really thrilled about doing that. So when I do that, and I get to know what I'm doing, because I'm not going to let you see all of my mistakes of doing it. Then I'll probably put it on the show and let you see it. <clears throat> so I told you 375 for the oven, 30 to 35 minutes, but just taste it, or taste it, just test it like you would a pot of cake. I'm spreading it around here. just going to be look like this it will puff up and then I'm taking my cinnamon and sugar and I'm sprinkling it on the top so it says uh, a quarter of a cup so figure a quarter of a cup and uh, a teaspoon of cinnamon how much that would be is how much you sprinkle on you can sprinkle on extra if you want you can sprinkle on less if you want it's in totally up to you it's your and that's it Right there is our rhubarb cake. So I hope everybody likes that. I hope you all like rhubarb as much as I do. I try looking for all kinds of rhubarb. I know I have the bread. I've had the pie. I had the cake. And I think I have cookies too. Um, so if you have any uh, recipes to use rhubarb, throw them over to me and I'll try to make it. So enjoy, enjoy this beautiful weather. I'm going back outside and uh, tie up my grapes now that my sister-in-law Janice helped me trim them yesterday. So um, I have just a few on the border of our property that um, they were beautiful last year. So the day I went to pick them, the, the bunches were almost as big as my hand. When I went to pick them, the birds had ate them off. So i got to figure some way so I can at least try some this year without the birds eating it. But, but anyway, this is our rhubarb cake. I hope you all enjoy it. If you make it, try it. Let me know how you like it, okay? Thank you for watching, and we'll be seeing you again soon, I hope. Bye-bye.